If you've ever played an online game, you're probably already familiar with the idea of servers. Let's break down the difference between a web server and a web client. And let's start with clients. A client is just any device or piece of software that you use to make a request to a server. Typically, this is done over the internet, but it could be done over any network. So a client is usually a smartphone, a laptop, or a desktop. It's whatever the end user is using. But the word client gets a little fuzzy because we don't just use it to refer to the actual physical device. We also use it to refer to the software running on that device that's actually doing the request to the server. So for example, it might be a web browser that's making web requests to a web server. But we might get even more specific and say that it's the JavaScript running within that specific Chrome tab. And then in a completely different example, it might not even be within a browser, but it might be a native mobile app that's making requests as a web client. It might even be a command line tool compiled and written in Go that's making requests over a network. All of those things, we can just broadly say, this is a web client because it's making requests to a server. So what's a server? Well, it's a machine or really just a computer that serves or handles these incoming requests from the clients. And while it's not always the case, most production servers live in some data center somewhere. It's not usually in the user's home. It's probably in some data center that needs to be accessed via the internet. So when a client wants to make a request to a server, it looks up the address of that server by its domain name or URL. And then its request is actually routed directly to the machine that is serving that request, that virtual location on the internet. Or again, any network. So let's take the example of the web server that runs boot.dev. It's physically located in a data center in Salt Lake City running on Google Cloud Platform's infrastructure. And when you type in boot.dev into your address bar, your web browser is acting as the client. It's making a request out to the internet. It's looking up the address of the server given the domain name boot.dev. It's finding the physical machine and that machine software is handling that request. And it will respond with website assets, things like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, a little bit of structured JSON. Now it's like, why would you use a server at all? Why wouldn't you just run all of this code on the user's device? Well, servers are useful because they allow us to centralize stuff and communicate in real time. So video games online wouldn't be possible without a central server that everyone's connected to and can kind of manage the game state in one location. Google Docs wouldn't work on all your devices if there wasn't a central server keeping track of the state of your document. Servers tend to be very data-driven. They usually don't handle things like rendering or visualizations. They manage the data. They manage the data in the back end, and the client typically handles the visualizations, the UI interactions on the front end. 